everyone. It's Bonnie. Happy Sunday, June 1st, day two of Bath and Body Works semi annual sale. And um, I got another haul. I actually went in and not as big as yesterday's haul, but I did um, buy some stuff. I'm going to talk about what's sold out, what's missing. We got a lot to talk about. So the first thing I wanted to talk about though is I did a poll on my community tab. I'm going to put a screenshot up right here. And 1,300 people voted so far. I love when people vote because um, I feel like it's a better uh, representation of a large group of people that are shopping semi-annual sales. So I said, how was the first day of Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale? And 6% um, said best sale ever. 51% said pretty good. 35% said just okay. 6% said pretty bad. And 3% said worst sale ever. I believe the numbers were worse in December. So the way I look at it, um, 57%, which is more than half, are saying it was either best sale ever or pretty good. I'm actually in the pretty good range. Um, yesterday, I was a high pretty good. Today, I'm kind of a lower pretty good because stuff is starting to sell out. So this is an odd semi-annual sale. I kind of miss the good old days um, when it was more of a treasure hunt. Like, they would have like these random bins where you could find like oddball Christmas stuff. Um, I feel like the um, kind of like the treasure hunting aspect of it is kind of gone now. It's pretty much straightforward. We're selling stuff off. So in my store, um, I wanted to get two more watermelon lemonade today in the shower gel. Gone. Sold out in the shower gel. This is what people are buying. I'm noticing... This smells so good. I got to review this one today. Um, I'm noticing the mall traffic. People are like going, oh, $3.95. And even when they like walk in, I was kind of sitting there observing. Um, everyone's like, it's $3.95? And, you know, the associates are like, yeah, everything is $3.95 right here. And they're like, really? $3.95? <laughs> so I think once it sinks in, people are like, oh, it's $3.95. I'm going to get some bath and body so, um, yeah, it's kind of interesting how many people maybe like didn't even know about semi-annual sale. Oh, by the way, Victoria's Secret, uh, no semi-annual sale yet. I don't know when that's coming. So, um, I did a bigger loop in my store today. It wasn't as crowded. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to walk around a little bit more. So I used my 10 off 40 today. And I think I literally spent um, $34, which I thought was good. It wasn't, you know, a huge amount. So I think my total now for semi-annual sale, including my Bopus, which I got on the first day, has been about in the, like, 125 range, which I think that's great. I mean, um, I did get one candle that I paid full price for, but I don't really count that because I was doing that just so I could, you know share and review a little bit more. Okay, my bag is empty. So the first thing I got, we had a uh, three for seven rack of the minis. They had like the ice lemon pound cake, strawberry um, pound cake. Uh, I think we had uh, the uh, sweetheart cherry. I can't remember if we had that one. But anyway, I, I really wanted to get some of the hand sanitizers for my car. So I literally got three of the lavender vanilla. I'm like, you know what? I like lavender vanilla. They had the eucalyptus one, which I don't like. So I got three of these for my car for seven. These are normally um, $8.50. So what did I pay each on these? That's actually a good deal for the minis. So check out your mini rack if you have one. Um, seven divided by three. That's like $2.33. That's a good deal on the minis, I gotta say. So that was exciting. I got my minis. I got two shower gels. I got another um, firecracker pop. And then I got the fruity sherbet scoop. I wanted a second one of these. I prefer this one over the, um, the strawberry soda in the shower. So I got those. Oh, I, I paid half price for this. I wanted to get a bath busy. I got Calypso Clementine. I want to demo this out in my sink. I don't like this formula as much, 
But I know a lot of people ask me about Bath and Body Works um, bath fizzies, and I want to show you what this is going to do. So I was going to demo that out. Um, almond croissant. I can't find the honey and vanilla one. Honestly, like I was looking everywhere. I saw Paris Cafe, but I have a couple of those already. But I really wanted to get um, the almond croissant in the wallflower. Open this guy here. Oh, yeah. This smells so good. They should have brought the candle back. <laughs> I'm like, where's the candle? Um, almond croissant is toasted almonds, vanilla glaze, and flaky croissant. It smells so good. Um, so that was a good one. I'm really glad I got the wallflower. So that was a win. And then I got four mists. I got another fruity sherbet scoop. I did get cucumber melon because I do review it every year. <laughs> and I like to compare it. So I will review cucumber melon. I got a um, another watermelon lemonade, and then I also got um, cotton candy clouds, which I don't think I got yesterday. I was like, I didn't get a cotton candy clouds in the mist. I don't think. I don't know. I'm so confused by what I bought. I have a whole bag under my desk. I got to sort everything <laughs> and figure out what I got. So, $3.95 product is starting to sell out. I noticed watermelon lemonade is still available online so you don't get free shipping now and you can't do BOPIS if it's sold out in the store which is problematic so what else um did I see in the stores not a lot of people buying the candles I was really surprised because I actually was telling people um load up on this collection because it may be sold out nah -uh, there's a lot of these I don't know if people just aren't interested in candles or what but I was shocked that no one was in the white barn. Everyone was over on um, the Bath and Body Works side. So this is a good one. Watermelon lemonade is amazing for summer, but it felt like the candles weren't going as much as I thought, which surprised the heck out of me. Um, everyone was interested in $3.95 and $75% off. What's interesting too is um, the candle sleeves, we had a couple candle sleeves for 75% off. I did not see any water globes, like none. I really believe Bath and Body Works has got some sort of supply chain issue with water globes. We didn't get a summer water globe. I think the last water globe we had was the elephant one for Tropical. Honestly, I cannot remember seeing another one. And I feel like even the candle holders are kind of few and far between. We got the USA balloon one. And then the really, I mean, the big one that we got was um, the ice cream cone one. So I'm hoping this doesn't affect Halloween at all because a lot of people like their Halloween water gloves. So I don't know what's going on with that. Just a weird anomaly I noticed. Um, we didn't have any 75% off on um, the wallflowers. I think I maybe saw like one that that was it, like one, I'm like, one? Uh, car fragrance, I don't know if they're gone or they just had like one or two. Um, but yeah, it's kind of interesting. This is an odd semi-annual sale in that I do feel like it's almost like um, they're gone. Like this is gonna end, in my opinion, fairly quickly because once everybody's got the 395 stuff, everyone's gonna want fall. So anyway. I'm going to talk a little bit later about um, what's going to happen tomorrow or what I think is going to happen tomorrow. And I'm going to review some more product for you guys today. That's um, that's for sale. Anyway, I will see you guys in a little bit. Let me know if you're shopping today. Bye-bye.